Hey there gang and welcome to your very first Flutter Farms tutorial. Alright, so in this series we're going to be looking at how we can work with farms and user inputs in Flutter. And if you've ever used Flutter before, which I'm guessing you have done if you're watching this course, then you'll know that there's more than one way to do any given thing in a Flutter project. User input is no different. There's many different widgets and widget combinations that we can use to gather user input. So we're going to be looking at a couple of different ways we can do it in this series. First, we're going to be using regular text field widgets along with text editing controllers to track what a user types into those text fields. And second, we're going to then use the built-in form widget along with a few different form field widgets as well to gather user input. And along the way, we'll be hooking that form up to a simple to-do list like this one right here, which lists a bunch of different to-dos along with a color-coded priority. So you can see this form down here at the bottom of the screen where we can add new to-dos. So I could say for the to-do title, make tutorial, for example. And then for the description, I could say something like, I don't know, stop playing FF7 and get a move on. And um, then we could also choose a priority for this, which would be high. And then when we click on add, it's going to add that new to do to the list. So this is the form we're going to be working on throughout this series right here. Now, before you start, I would already expect you to have at least a basic understanding of Flutter because this is not an absolute beginner's course. And I will assume that you have Flutter installed and you can preview your Flutter apps on an emulator, either iOS or Android. I'm also assuming that you know what stateless and stateful widgets are, how to use state inside a widget, how to use UI widgets like containers, rows, columns, buttons, and so forth. So if you're completely new to Flutter or you need a refresher, you can check out my Flutter Masterclass course right here on the NetNinja website, which is going to elevate you to basically Flutter Ninja level. And that's just $10 to buy. Or you can check out my smaller crash course about Flutter on YouTube, which is completely free. So I'm going to leave the link to both of these courses down below this video. I've also made course files for each lesson in this series, which can all be found on this GitHub repository, Flutter Forms. So I'll leave this link below the video as well. Now, every lesson has its own branch in this repo. So if you want to download the code for a specific lesson, you just need to select that lesson from the branch dropdown and then hit the code button to download a zip folder of that lesson. Also, there's a branch called Starter Project, which contains all the code for a starter project, which we're going to use for this series. So if you want to follow along with me, then you should select that branch, then hit the code button and download a zip folder of that branch. Once you've done that, unzip the folder and open the project up in VS Code. Okay then, so this is the starter project right here, which I've opened up inside VS Code. Now, when you first open this up, you might get a lot of red lines and errors everywhere all over the show, and you might have to run a pub get command to get things working. But after that, you should be fine. So then, I've already got my Android device up and running and I've started this application by going to the main.dart file and hitting this arrow next to the play button right here and then selecting run without debugging. Anyway, you can see that over here we have a list of to-dos which are all color coordinated. Now then, those to-dos are defined inside the home widget near the top. You can see we have this list of to-do objects called to-dos and each to-do object is an instance of the to-do class with a title, a description, and a priority. So we have three of those to-dos in total. And by the way, that to-do class is defined in the to-do.dart file inside the models folder. And also in this file, we have the priority enum, which is actually an enhanced enum with four different values, urgent, high, medium, and low. And each of those priority values has an associated color as well. So inside this to-do class, we say that each to-do should have a string title, a string description and a priority of type priority, which is that enum up there. Anyway, we have that list of to-dos defined in the home widget. And then we pass those to-dos into a widget called to-do list as a named argument. Now inside that to-dos list widget, we accept that argument and we output each of the to-dos in the list using a list view builder. And for each to-do in that list view, we output the to-do title, the to-do description, and the to-do priority title as well. We also use the priority color to colorize each to-do as well. So this is the entire to-do list right here, and we won't need to delve into this widget 
at any point at all. It's all finished and we just want to focus on adding the form to the home screen widget so we can update the to-do list with new to-dos when we create them using that form. So we have our starter project up and running. In the next lesson, we're going to take a look at how we can use text field widgets to capture user input. By the way, if you want to watch this entire course now without YouTube adverts, you can do. It's all up on the NetNinja website, netninja.dev. You can buy the course for $2 to get instant access to all of it, or you can sign up to NetNinja Pro and get instant access to all of my courses without adverts, as well as premium courses not found on YouTube, including my Udemy ones. That's $9 a month, and you can get your first month half price when you use this promo code right here. So I'm going to leave this link down below in the video description for you to sign up, and I really hope you enjoy this series, and please do not forget to share, subscribe, and like the videos. That really helps a lot and I'm going to see you in the very next lesson.